what's going on lads it's Hugo Supers here back with another video today we have a video from San Clemente Cars and Coffee that I went to and I met one of the coolest Mopar owners with one of the craziest stories I've ever heard matching numbers challenger and he is the original owner because it was never registered and just listen to this story I love to go to Cars and Coffees and if you guys have never gone you should go because you meet some of the coolest people. Anyway, if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and yeah, enjoy the video. It just looks like hell because it's sad in Colorado outside, it's sad, it's sad in, in, in uh, here in Mission Viejo for years outside, it's sad in Seal Beach outside, it's sad in Long Beach outside, it's sad at the Probably dealership outside. Probably stolen. <laughs> yeah, this thing sat at the dealer for three years, no, it's three years outside. outside. There's a portion of it. It sat in the showroom once, and then they took it out, no one wanted it, and they put it in a service bay. Wow. No one wanted it. No one wanted it. Because back in those days, they were probably they were probably all around. Right? Well, this is gas number one. Number two is insurance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Insurance would be just. Sorry. My cousin, he was in the in the uh, army. And in 70, he bought a Roadrunner, and the only reason he was able to get the Roadrunner is because a the guy who owned the dealership was a Korean War veteran. And he says, I'll, I'll help you get your finance, and that's how he got in. So, and my cousin was a tunnel rat, so he even had love because he was a tunnel rat. Uh. And, you know, he says, I'll take care of you. So he had that road run. That's how he got his. Wow. But when he went to the dealership the first time, he couldn't get it. But when he went to another dealership uh -huh. where there was an old guy who owned it, there was a military guy, that's how he got it. Oh, yeah. So imagine if you're just a normal kid right? walking around, you're not getting it. You're not getting it, with, especially with the insurance. With the insurance. Well, uh, what's the color called? FY1 yellow. They call it top banana. Top banana? Yeah, top banana. <laughs> Top banana. <laughs> and you said on 12,000 original miles. 12, yeah. That's insane. And where did you find the car? Believe, I bought it from the dealer, the guy who owned the dealership. So no one wanted it. Why would he sell it? Because he was he was in he it was when the I bought business. it. He, he was in his 80s when I bought it. Oh. Okay. They were sending it to the pick your park. Pick your park was gonna come and pick it up. No way. I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. I saw it when I was driving. I, I, I'm a truck driver, so I. I have a lot, I've always had a lot of cars because I see them everywhere. Right. And I was up in LA and there was a detour on, on one of the surface streets. Thank God it was a detour. And, and he took us down a residential street. Right? Oh, it was a it, wide residential oh, street. It caught your eye. And I, and I was going by and I saw the back of it. Yep. And I'm like, that's a coot. And the old man was taking stuff off the top of it. And I saw oh, I, he was storing stuff on top? Yeah. Oh. And he was taking stuff off of it. And I, I, said, I, I yelled at him, I said, hey, what are you doing? He said, I'm just cleaning out the garage. So I went back to our yard and I said, boss, I gotta go home. <laughs> yeah. I gotta go uh, home. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not feeling well. <laughs> I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go see the doctor. <laughs> I said, go home. He said, go ahead. So I went back over there and I asked the guys, what are you guys gonna do with this? He said, oh, pick your parts coming forward. We we got it out a little bit and it won't start again. So we're taking the junk off of it. Then his daughter comes out. She says, can I help you? I said, yeah, how much do you want for this car? Well, pick your parts coming forward. And she had a nice beaver. I said, hey, how much is your insurance? Uh, how much is your payment? How much is everything for a, for a month? He said, 500. On a BMW? Yeah, 535. It was, a, it was an imported one. At that time, in 85, it was nice. Oh, like I said, 85? They had, they had a lot of money. Uh -huh. And they got this thing, for, it came from overseas. And I'm like, okay, I'll give you 535 for it. One of your month's payments. She said, well, okay. Boom. But the problem was, like I was telling the other guys, the problem with this car was, it, it technically still belonged to Chrysler because it was a demo. Oh. So how did you get around that? I almost lost it when I went to Chrysler. Oh. I took the paperwork that he gave me to Chrysler, and Chrysler, the guy said, "I think we still own this." So it was never, it was never, never titled. Rented, never titled. But the car was what year is the car? Seventy. So it was what, 15 years old at the time, and and for that many years it wasn't titled. So what happened? He, well, he owned a few cars and he just parked them. And like this one, when they closed the dealership, they put it in, he took it home. He had it towed home and put it in the garage and that's where it sat. And he never registered it. He never paid Chrysler for the car. I guess not. <laughs> so, <is> that... <laughs> so when I so when I went down there, they said, I think we still own it. Oh. And I said, Well, the dealership to, was gone. The dealership was gone. You had to go to the finance? I had to go to Chrysler Finance. <laughs> he nailed it. That's where I went. 
the one over off of Lakewood Boulevard. They're gone now. And you had the title? I had all, everything he gave me. And they go, we still own this car. The guy says, I think we still own it. And what year did you Thank go God to that? Thank God that wasn't 85. Thank oh. God that wasn't this year, because they would say, bye-bye. Yeah. Well, but you know what the guy told right? me? He said, yeah. after lunch, we'll 50 unravel grand. It. He's well unravel it after lunch. I said, okay. And I saw a girl sitting in the back, just looking at him, and she's just doing her stuff. <laughs> so he walked away, and I, I, I knocked on the glass again, and she came over, and she says, hey, what are you guys talking about? I said, I got this car that I'm trying to I'm trying to get you guys to sign off on. And she looked and said, 1970? We don't have any interest in that car anymore. She stamped it and signed off on it. And I went to the DMV right after that. Gotta love ignorance. I went straight to the DMV. You gotta love ignorance. Right to the DMV. If the line would have been four days long, you would have been that line. I, 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 you would have to close. When I got there, the line was long, and I went to another one. They could have changed their mind the next day. I, I, I got Or else someone else could have found out and looked at it. That's how I got it. Oh! What a story. So technically, I'm technically the original Oh! Because you're the first... To register it. Register it. Oh, yeah. Oh! That's the even better. Story, yeah, it, it, just just better adding, better. it just keeps adding on. <laughs> interesting, right? It's like very I said, it's interesting. Get this yeah. convertible? Yes. Or modified? No. It's original. It's gorgeous. Original owner. Are you really? Technically. Wow. You want to sell it? It's owned by the Chrysler Corporation. You want to sell it? Well, my son, I, my son, he's driving that around. Here it is, guys. 12,000 original miles. Lived in Albuquerque. They bought it in Albuquerque. What year is it? It's an SE81. So is that? Yes. But see, Albuquerque, it's, it's, it's easier for me to, to keep it registered out there because they got to roll in 25 hours. So, you know, everything that turns 25 years old, no slot. Uh, and if you have a newer car like a like this California, right here. they cut it off, don't they? It's they cut it off, so. right. Good luck to you, my friend. Take care. This one here, they, they, if you go to uh, the, the county my son lives in, yeah. you can take all the small off at the time. They don't have small. Where? Certain, yeah, in, in, in New Mexico, in certain areas. What, New Mexico? Burn, burn up, they wouldn't start. They always have fun trying to start this. So that's the why the sentence. body's so clean, but the paint is a little bit faded. And they yeah. painted it once. Oh, they did? When they wrecked it. When they drug it out of the service bay, oh. and, and they tore up that side, oh. and then they tore up this side. Oh, shit. And they painted it, they painted it once. Uh -huh. They got overspray all over the place. They just, they just, they just <laughs> lightly sanded it. I saw it on the fucking grill. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So, yeah. how many people have tried to buy it from you? In all these years, have tried to buy it from you? You know when people, 150? <laughs> yeah, you know when they you can't even count. When I used to drive it to Colorado, when I drove it Colorado. out there, when I drove it to Colorado, that's when I would get people trying to buy it. And then coming back, whenever I drove it out there, you know, in the middle of nowhere, and they see the California plates on it, and they see it, people always try to buy it. They always want it. Because they know it's not a California rust car, right? Yeah. Not a rust bucket. Yeah, it'll be that's in New exactly Mexico right. uh, in October. It'll be in, it'll be there for the winter. In Mexico? New Mexico. New Mexico. It'll be in New Mexico for the winter probably. Where do you live? Here. I'm in Michigan. Uh -huh. But I got a car I got to bring back. Uh -huh. So we're going out there tomorrow because I got a, uh, a, a a Bandit Edition uh, Trans Am. Remember, remember when uh, Burt Reynolds did the second version? Oh yeah. The Turbo Trans Am. I have one of those. <clears throat> Smokey the Bandit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>